city of New Orleans, 911. What's your emergency? Two people that have been shot. And when did this happen? It just happened. City of New Orleans, 911. What's the location of your emergency? Two people just got shot. They on the ground. One, I think, is dead. Oh, my God, he is not moving. OK, did you see the suspect at all? No, uh, we, we didn't see them. We was in the car. We just heard a gunshot. He's right here. The police right here. Are the officers there on scene? Yes, the police just pulled up. He's right here. I need officers here now. I got two on the ground gunshot wounds. All right, I need a sprint. I might have a shooting at Burgundy. 6249, you show me off of Tulane. 10 more. So even though it's early on in the shift, it is extremely busy. We have no units available right now. Everyone's on calls. So I'm headed to this by myself. Any unit that has not called status 5 yet or can't go status 5, please do so. 3248 or 3235, you guys go status 5 at Baptist? Just let me know when the scene's safe. Yes, ma'am. Apparently, there's two people shot. Don't know what their condition is. Don't have any information on it. 6249, I see NOPD on scene. Have they given a scene safety yet? Yes, ma'am. 6249, I'm out with NOPD. 10 more. Watch out. Hi. He's awake and talking? Hey, I got a tourniquet right up the leg. Is the other one alert? No, he's looking pretty rough. That yeah. one? Yeah, I did get first. Yeah. Is that holding or is he yeah, still he's bleeding? Holding. He's good. Name. All right. Name Stay right there, okay? I got an ambulance coming for you. Is he talking? Yeah, he's still away. Yeah, hang with us, man. Hang with us. We'll be all right. I'm on scene with two gunshot wound patients, both critical, and we have no units available. So right now, it's on me to keep these patients stable until I can get an ambulance here to transport them to the trauma center. All right, baby, don't move, OK, Big Pinch? I'm going to go pop that tourniquet on him over there. Hold on, baby, let me see your arm. Don't turn it yet. Let me just secure this, OK? This is one of those situations where I'm going to do a quick back and forth. I'm going to check on one patient, see what that patient's status is, go to the other one, and see what their status is. Hey, you're going to live to see another day. All right, let me get right here. All right, my love, I'm going to start an IV on you real quick, OK? All right, baby, little pinch right here, OK? One, two, three. You're doing good, my love. The ambulance is here, OK? We're going to take care of you. We're going to take you to university, all right? If y'all want to go grab that stretcher from them, they're going to move that patient on the bench seat. Just bring it right back over here. So with these two patients, my main priority is checking their mental status, checking to make sure they have a radial pulse, trying to get IV access on them and just preparing them to be able to put them in an ambulance and go straight to the hospital. Where's the other dude? The other dude? Back OK, then we just need to pick him up. Just try to support by the knee and the ankle if you can. Go up. Yep, go up. These patients are both very sick. They're both trauma activations. And so the best way for us to get them to the hospital is to just do it in one ambulance. Can you feel me squeezing? Feel me doing anything? Y'all just go ahead and go. It's so sad, man. And these dudes are young. And somebody else's moment of ignorance really cost them like a certain quality of life. And that sucks. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. <gasps> Grand Grand you know, they're not dead. I can work with that. 